All right, guys, so this is the shifter linkage bushing kit, shift repair kit uh, that I bought from, let's see it in here, bushingfix.com. Again, the symptoms with the Hyundai is that it's uh, absolutely miserable to get it into first and second gear right now with the worn bushings. You find yourself coming to a light and struggling with it. It just doesn't make it good to drive. I recently bought a Milwaukee um, 3.8 driver um, and the uh, absolutely fantastic tool, really good time saver, it allows me to use smaller sockets, smaller 3.8 stuff and uh, really fly along with it. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers using it, well not this particular gun but definitely using, uh, using the impact drivers and I uh, decided to get myself a smaller one. I have the big Milwaukee for doing the heavy jobs, suspension stuff underneath the cars, but this is, uh, this is really nice for interior work or even for pulling stuff apart quickly. Bracket's a bit in the way. I could remove it, I could. Definitely weren't getting in here with my big impact gun. Now, with a longer 3 8 extension, I'd be in much better shape. But I think we're just going to go old school, guys. You can always try slightly longer, 13 mil deep, 3 8 And we'll go ahead and remove that. There we go. Worked nicely with the deep socket. Put the bolts on the floor where I'll find them. Now our shifter assembly is loose. So, I've never done this guys. This is absolutely new to me, replacing these bushings. So we're gonna look under here, see what we got. I'm just gonna try and pull off some wiring here. There's one little clip in where the wiring goes. Maybe I should remove this bracket guys. It's just slightly in the way. Just to say that it is. There we go. All right, looks like one more little spring clip in here. I'll pull this off. Oh, there we go. All right, so it slips out sideways. You can see our shifter bushing. But these bushings don't look at all like those bushings. So that's not great, guys. It is the bushing. So we're going to go for this one here. This bushing is this piece. There's a C-clip that holds this whole assembly together. I don't know if these guys will slip out. I guess we'll see. These guys look like they clip in to the back of this urethane here. Eh, I think we might be dismantling more than we need to. I think I'm going to try to do this in car right here. The only thing I have to watch is for the spring tensioner on this side. And it looks like it's wound and pushing on this piece. So that doesn't look too bad. So it's a question of removing this pin and clip, which I'm not well equipped for today, guys. I didn't think that we'd be playing with that. Definitely don't want to be prying on that too much. I don't think there's any other way but to get this out of the vehicle. All right, guys. So scratch the bushing kit thing. We're going to forget that about bushing kits. This here is the adjustment uh, for your for the some of the, the shifting that goes on on the Hyundai. And it would appear that over time, there's wear in the cable assembly for sure. And basically what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've adjusted this. This pulls out. Uh, basically, you pull pull out this clip. You pull this clip back and you can see the factory markings. The factory markings are there and you can see there's a tab there and a tab there. And you can see I'm, I'm about a quarter inch off now and it's working quite happily. Um, so you pull this back, you slide it. There's some teeth in there right here in this area and then it, it grips. And you can see I actually have to pull back my shifter assembly just a little bit for that to fit back on. Um, and then we go ahead and reposition this clip 
and uh, we've got first and second gear engaging nicely again. So no bushing kit required for this. I thought we were going to need one. Um, and uh, there's no real bushings to put in there. All adjustment. So we're going to go ahead with reassembly of the, the console. Reconnect some of the wiring here. Grab the shifter knob again. Get the console back together. Connect the wires that go back here. They are hard to see. Alright, so we've got that hooked back up. Get that shifter through there. Next part we're worried about as well. Handbrake assembly. Get it in there. Definitely stuck up on that bracket. We'll get there, guys. Repitting these things is always fun. There we go. Just fell together, guys. sure she's happy in there. She's not moving anywhere once we bolt her in. And the two rear bolts go in. They're working good. Emergency brake assembly is working again. That's great news. Two 12 volt outputs are now connected. Excellent. Well, we're making progress. Nothing really stopping us from putting this back together. This is just our emergency, not our emergency, but our, our disengage switch uh, dip lockout for reverse, basically, is all this piece of plastic does with the knob on top. It just stops us from going into reverse. So you have to pull up this tab to engage reverse beside first. Give her one more tightening spin. Make sure that's good and tight. There we go. Nice engages. Good shape. So, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Pretty happy with that. It's much better than it was. Alright, now we're going to find the rest of the fasteners. Where do we put the fasteners, do you think? Well, we put them someplace where we'd find them. Excellent. Well, it's been a week or two, guys, since I've been out here, so, you know, the old memory's not doing too good. Let's see if my trusty tool will not reach. proves to be a fight. Slightly longer bolt would have been nice. Guys, over at Hyundai. I don't know why you had to use the smallest bolt, you know. I guess it's what you had, but holy smoke. Let's see if I can get the other side in. This one seems to be threading nicely. No idea why the other one won't. It's always the way it goes. There it goes. Let's tighten up. Look at that. Alright. Make sure this one's down tight too. Alright, good. Excellent. So, uh, Couple Phillips screws on this side, couple Phillips screws on this side, couple Phillips screws up front, and that's it. Put these in. Go ahead. A little cover here. 
pretty cover for the parking brake assembly. Pull this back. Put this in here. We'll get ourselves a proper Phillips screwdriver and we will screw that back in. I don't know why they put four screws in this, but they did. Actually, the four screws that are in here, guys, are just for the bracket that could screw down with those two. So it's only these two that are left right here. There we go. Got that one back together. That's it, guys. So that concludes replacing the parking brake assembly, adjusting the shifter, uh, in the Hyundai Elantra Touring. Um, so, didn't require a bushing kit, thought it did, doesn't. Um, so, we've got good for a second gear shift now. We've got good, good engagement of all the gears. Reverse, there we go, reverse. Um, we've got the console back in, e brake work. That's beautiful. So, it's just a question now of uh, finishing a couple other things, which will be likely. Tune-up related, so we'll put a set of plugs in it, clean them off, um, replace the oil, and I think uh, we've got a got a good little car here. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching the Automotive Peasant. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. I think they they say, um, and uh, that'd be great. Uh, I could, the the likes will definitely help me out. Uh, the more you guys are watching is good. Definitely give me comments. Um, I'm all new at doing this type of filming. Um, I, I know maybe I'm not getting enough detail in here. Let me know. Uh, let, let me know what you guys would like to see more of with this type of project. And uh, thank you very much. Cheers.